You can open it. Locked doors are your specialty. Come on, Nan. That door's our only way out of here. Think. Oh, man, am I glad to see you. I mean, I'm not happy you got dumped down here, too, but I'm real happy I'm not alone anymore. And now that you are down here, I'm really, really happy because I know you'll be able to get us out. Am I making sense? Because I know you'll be able to get us out. And, oh, my gosh, you found my bracelet. That is so cool. And I sound like an absolute babbling idiot, don't I? Oh, man, am I glad to see you. I mean, I'm not happy you got dumped down here, too, but I'm real happy I'm not alone anymore. And now that you are down here, I'm really, really happy. Well, I'm kind of thirsty, and I'm starving, of course. And until he opened the lid just now, it was getting pretty stuffy in here. But otherwise, I'm fine. And I found a way out. Look, the plane's coming. Both you guys are amazing. George! Hey, George! Nancy! Nancy, you did it! Sorry, I'm a little too creeped out to talk right now. Can you believe it? For once, I don't want to talk. We can talk later, Nan. Just get us out of here, okay? I can barely think, let alone talk, Nancy. I'm just too nervous. I don't want to talk. Too tired and hungry. I don't want to talk. I'm too hungry. Bill to a hundred, that's what each one must be. So the ones that are not are your only worry. Since 60 is what will come out with each press, just see what combination will work out the best. Astrolabe is its name. Decoding books is its game. Line up symbols, two letters, till no nonsense remains. Study what's in El Toro's book without fail. Do all that it says, and you'll see where to sail. Look around for what's left of his favorite tidbit. Then find some and put it where he must leave to go get it. The symbols are letters. Of that be aware. Common words with few letters are encoded somewhere. Try till you find them, and then go from there. First, do some reading about things that fly. After that, find a detector. By then, you'll know why. Then climb up to the bat caves and give it a try. One waypoint's been given. That's where to start. To determine the others, go by the lines on that chart. The sand must run out all at the same time. To know which to turn when, you must look at the lines. You must turn the lights off. Not one can remain. See which turn off when. Use your eyes. Use your brain. They're asking for something, not just making noise, which makes listening and reading among your best ploys. In no row, block, or column can a color repeat. Use trial, error, and reason this lock to defeat. Put them in order. That's all you must do. The rules contain animals. They'll give you your clue. Now spin the dials till edges match where they touch. Just do this for all and you will gain much. El Toro's patterns will serve as your guides. Recreate them by clicking where you must to make sides. Success awaits. On your thinking, it rides. Placed on top of each other, an owl some will make. So just turn them and slide them till the bird takes shape. One has been taken, which means one you lack. So go see the thief. You must win it back. It's really as simple as A, B, C. As long as what follows is B, A, D. Hang it up with the others, then study that book. What you need is all there. Just take a good look. The flags are the answer. That's why they're at hand. Just look round and find for what numbers they stand. For all of the parts, no hole can they share. Four holes will be empty and on top, a square. Not only had George called the float plane company, but she'd contacted the U.S. Coast Guard and the police in Nassau, San Juan, Miami, and Havana. She even called the FBI, but they put her on hold. Anyway, while Bess and George waited for the authorities, I talked the float plane pilot into taking me up so he could search for Duane from the air. We soon spotted his boat about three miles from shore and radioed it in. But when they boarded the boat, the police found it empty. Was the boat just a decoy? Did Duane meet up with someone and make his getaway in a boat I wouldn't recognize? Or did he, while gloating over the map, accidentally fall overboard and drown? Unfortunately, it doesn't look like anyone will ever know for sure. I, of course, turned the treasure chest Bess and I found over to the authorities. But almost immediately, the Bahamian and Spanish governments were at loggerheads, arguing over which country had the legal right to claim the treasure as theirs. It soon became yet another mystery that may never be solved. As for the Gibsons, they'd been at a week-long family reunion in North Dakota and were mystified upon their return to find the resort overrun with police, government agents, and reporters. They didn't have a clue what had gone on in their absence. But they were happy about all the publicity Duane's escapade had generated, 
and offered to let Bess, George, and me continue to stay on for a real free vacation. But we all said, no, thank you. The only thing that sounded good to any of us after what we'd just been through was good old boring home. Rock, stranger danger, stranger danger, stay back! Rock, stranger danger, stranger danger, stay back! Rock, Nancy Drew, what's up with you? Rock, Nancy Drew, what's up with you? Fancy, 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 Nancy, Rock! Fancy, 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 Nancy, Rock! Rock, Detective Drew should get a clue. Nancy Drew belongs in the zoo. Nancy Drew, Nancy Drew. Rescue Nancy! Rescue Nancy! No time to lose! Nancy's in trouble! George to the rescue! No time to talk! Danger! Danger! Get to the cave! See who's there! Prowlers! Prowlers! Quick! Quick! Go look outside! No time to waste! Someone's outside! Go look! Go look! Georgie Pudgy! Georgie Pudgy! <laughs> a trick for a treat! A hint for a treat! You choose! What do you want? George is smelly! George is smelly! George is a dumbhead! George is a dumbhead! George is back! Cut her some slack! Cuckoo rocks! Cuckoo rolls! Cuckoo rolls! Oh yeah! George is here! Shed a tear! Boo hoo! Boo hoo! Boo hoo! Cuckoo's my name! Talking's my name! Smarter than Nancy Drew! Grab a Lulu! Pretty bird! Pretty bird! Grab a Lulu! Bess is missing! Bess is missing! Cuckoo's my name! Talking's my name! Cuckoo want fruit! 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 Cuckoo want fruit! Monkey see, monkey do! Cuckoo want fruit! Fruit! Monkey see, monkey do! Cuckoo want fruit! Cuckoo want fruit! A hint for a treat! A hint for a treat! Now you're talking! Fruit! Cuckoo wants fruit! 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 A deal's a deal. Fair is fair. A hint for a treat. Monkey see, monkey do. <coughs> treat first! Treat first! Cuckoo wants treat first! Mmm, mmm, mmm. Boy, howdy, that was good. Woohoo! Love those treats. Mighty tasty. So sweet. Tell your troubles to Cuckoo. What can I do you for? So what do you want to know? Suck it to me. Lay it on me, dude. A trick for a treat. A trick for a treat. Quid pro quo. <coughs> you got it, sister. Drum roll, please. Presenting Cuckoo the Great. Prepare to be amazed. Here's your trick. Hold on to your hat. Ta-da! Is Cuckoo great or what? <coughs> oh, yeah. Cuckoo rocks. Pretty cool, huh? Eat your heart out, mystical. Treat for Cuckoo. Treat for Cuckoo. Hand it over. <coughs> Monkey see, monkey do, monkey see, monkey do. Cuckoo on treat, cuckoo on fruit, 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 fruit. <laughs> Wanna see a trick? Monkey see, monkey do. No treat, no trick. Treat first, treat first, cuckoo on treat. A hint for a treat, a hint for a treat. <laughs> no treat, no hint. A deal's a deal. No secret, no secret. It's all luck, sad but true. Keep playing, keep playing. That's all you can do. No treat, no trick. A deal's a deal. Two can play in that game, sister. Oh, my ears. You're really bugging me. Stop. Cuckoo rolls. Oh, yeah. Cuckoo rolls. Suit yourself. Thanks for the treat. No skin off my beak. Nice perch. Nice perch. Cuckoo love perch. Treat for trade, treat for trade. Cuckoo on fruit, 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 fruit. Treat first, treat first. Cuckoo on driftwood. Driftwood for perch, driftwood for perch. <coughs> not right, not right. <coughs> Cuckoo want new perch. <coughs> Cuckoo love it. Hand it over, hand it over. Gimme, gimme, gimme. New perch, new perch. Very nice. Pretty bird, pretty bird. Pretty perch for the pretty bird. Use all the little pieces to make eight bigger ones. Then slide those to make a picture, and you'll be all done. Cuckoo love perch. Want to see a trick? Bye-bye. Toodles. Hasta la vista. Find bass. Find bass. Bye-bye. Find perch. Find perch. Don't mention it. All in a day's work. Cuckoo rolls. Cuckoo rolls. Smarter than you. Smarter than you. <laughs> Time's a waste and rescue Nancy! No time to dawdle! George to the rescue! 
Go save Nancy! Be a hero! Be a hero! Ah, it's too expensive here. Water, water everywhere. Who wants to go shark diving? Janie, stop teasing your brother. Don't forget to put on sunscreen there. Turn that thing off. Jimmy, stop hitting your sister. We're in a tropical paradise. It's hot outside. This smells funny. Who put that there? Knock, knock. Who's there? That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Pretty bird. Pretty bird. <laughs> that was funny. Samantha, this is Justin. Justin, meet Samantha. Sharks are your friends. When in doubt, whack them on the snout. Do not bite your sister. That parrot is totally awesome. You need a bath. You didn't wipe the sand off your feet. Thank goodness they checked out. Two leaves. Cuckoo on perch with two leaves. Three branches. Cuckoo on perch with three branches. Four branches. Cuckoo on perch with four branches. Bark, bark, bark. Cuckoo on perch with bark. No bark, no bark. Cuckoo on perch with no bark. No leaves. Cuckoo on perch with no leaves. Hey, got a joke for you. A priest, a rabbi, and a teenage detective were in this boat. Party pooper. Hey, what the? Whoever glued my feet to this thing is in big trouble. Remember me, Nancy? Dwayne, you idiot! Dwayne Powers! I did. For several long years. But they were well spent. You see, one of the men who worked at the Monkey Research Center here did volunteer work at the prison after he retired. We got to be friends. Good friends. Such good friends that he gave me a book the monkeys had found somewhere here on the island. He was sure it would lead to Sibylla, one of the fabled lost cities of gold. But he couldn't decode it, nor could I. And then it hit me. A way to find El Toro's treasure and get back at the teenage snoop who ruined my life. Yes, it was all sheer genius. I was an up-and-coming actor before you came along. Did you know that? Well, I was. And as I just proved, I've still got what it takes. You fell for my performance hook, line, and sinker. Not only did I get you to find that map to Sibylla, but I had you begging me to take it from you. And I had you believing there were mysterious other people on the island, didn't I? Unfortunately, there's nobody here but me. Heck, I even got you to help undo the damage those infernal monkeys did to my boat. I was brilliant! She's very close, actually. Always has been. Next time? If there is a next time? Watch upon whose toes you step, Nancy Drew. Watching where you step wouldn't hurt either. Oh, yes. Whoa, there's like no air in here. Are you okay? I'll do that. You'll be happy to know I'm making progress. No, just a bunch of delinquent monkeys. Why? Keep in touch. And try being a little more careful. Wanna talk? My name's George, remember? Look, I'm not in the mood. I need a hint. I need a hint. I'd like a trick. I think I'd like a trick. Actually, I just felt like bugging you. Oh, come on. I'm not gonna hurt you. Not this again. I hear you. I guess so, sure. Not if it involves your squawking your lungs out again. Where am I supposed to find you a treat? So if I give you this guava, you'll do a trick for me? How about you do another trick for another guava? I'll give you a guava, you give me a hint. Sound good? Problem is, I don't have any guavas. Here you go. Hey, thanks, Cuckoo. Awesome. Thanks. Thanks, Bird Brain. I need to know the secret to beating those monkeys at that alleyway game. I need to get Nancy out of that cave, but I'm not sure what the deal is with that thing with all the pieces I found nearby. I think I'll come back later. I don't want to talk anymore. Catch you later, okay? Problem is, I don't have any guavas. Look who's talking! I heard that! Thanks! Good idea. Sorry, I'm not going anywhere until you help me find Bess. Hey! Hey! Hello! Oh, come on, talk to me! Yoo-hoo! Don't ignore me! Hey! Ugh! These things must not work when they're too close to each other. I'd better not do any exploring on foot. I'd better not do any exploring. I'd better not do any exploring on foot. After running out there to rescue Nancy like that, I'd probably keel over. The golf cart's here. Great! Now if I feel like exploring, I can. Well, I just got my exercise for the day. Okay, now where's this cave with the rock in front of it? I don't need to talk to Nancy. 
I need to get her out of that cave. In celebration of the date the Atosha sank, which is inscribed on its front, this commemorative silver coin... Oh no, the coin's gone. Those monkeys are not only vandals, they're also thieves. That's just peachy. Oh man, the monkeys must have broken into the shed. I found that bowl of guavas. But if you give one to that parrot, stand back. She loves them. Nancy? Are you in there? Ugh, no way. This thing weighs a ton. I found something. I'm not sure what. Okay. I'm getting there, Nance. What started out as a jigsaw puzzle just turned into a slider puzzle. I did it. Nancy, I did it! Probably to keep out nosy guests. Oh, no offense. Uh, ugh, ugh, ugh. Ow! Ouch! Darn! Ouch! Woof! Hey, that hurt! Good shot. Nice one. Almost. Nope. Close, but no cigar. Beaten by a monkey. You beat me. Shoot, I lost. Tied. I lose. Tie game. You win. Tie. At least I didn't lose. Who goes next? My turn. Here we go. Sorry, you gotta go back. Return to start. Too bad. Talk about luck. I lucked out there. Batter up. I can't believe I lost. I lost to a monkey. I hate that. I blew that. I got beaten by a monkey? Ouch. Your move. Now it's my move. My turn. Can't go there. That won't work. Let me think. Didn't win that one. Lost that game. And the winner is not me. Draw. We tied. Another tie. I lost again. A monkey beat me again. What is? You think the Gibsons have been keeping tabs on you? Probably just a coincidence. We're working on it, okay? I don't have time to go sailing. I don't have time to go sailing. I gotta get Nancy out of that cave. 6 September 1622. Bingo. I can't look at this now. I need to get moving. Nancy needs my help. All right, whoever you are, we get the picture. We haven't forgotten. We haven't forgotten. Oh, man. The monkeys must have broken into the shed. Oh, man. The monkeys must have messed up the coin thing. You're supposed to take the coin, guys. If you'd read the script, you'd know that. Sometimes those monkeys can be so lazy. I don't want a hint after all. I changed my mind. See ya. On second thought, forget it. Later. Look who's talking. I heard that. Thanks. Good idea. Sorry, I'm not going anywhere until you help me find Bess. Hey. Hey! Hello! Oh, come on, talk to me! Yoo-hoo! Don't ignore me! Hey! Ugh! These things must not work when they're too close to each other. I'd better not do any exploring on foot. I'd better not do any exploring. I'd better not do any exploring on foot. After running out there to rescue Nancy like that, I'd probably keel over. The golf cart's here. Great! Now if I feel like exploring, I can. Well, I just got my exercise for the day. Okay, now where's this cave with the rock in front of it? I don't need to talk to Nancy. I need to get her out of that cave. In celebration of the date the Atosha sank, which is inscribed on its front, this commemorative silver coin... Oh no, the coin's gone. Those monkeys are not only vandals, they're also thieves. That's just peachy. Oh man, the monkeys must have broken into the shed. I found that bowl of guavas. But if you give one to that parrot, stand back. She loves them. Nancy? Are you in there? Ugh, no way. This thing weighs a ton. I found something. I'm not sure what. Okay. I'm getting there, Nance. What started out as a jigsaw puzzle just turned into a slider puzzle. I did it. Nancy, I did it! Probably to keep out nosy guests. Oh, no offense. Uh, ugh, ugh, ugh. Ow, ouch, darn. Ouch! Woof! Hey, that hurt! Good shot. Nice one. Almost. Nope. Close, but no cigar. Beaten by a monkey. You beat me. Shoot, I lost. Tied. I lose. Tie game. You win. Tie. At least I didn't lose. Who goes next? My turn. Here we go. Sorry, you gotta go back. Return to start. Too bad. Talk about luck. I lucked out there. Batter up. I can't believe I lost. I lost to a monkey. I hate that. I blew that. I got beaten by a monkey? Ouch. Your move. Now it's my move. My turn. Can't go there. That won't work. Let me think. Didn't win that one. Lost that game. And the winner is not me. Draw. 
We tied. Another tie. I lost again. A monkey beat me again. What is? You think the Gibsons have been keeping tabs on you? Probably just a coincidence. We're working on it, okay? I don't have time to go sailing. I don't have time to go sailing. I gotta get Nancy out of that cave. 6 September 1622. Bingo. I can't look at this now. I need to get moving. Nancy needs my help. All right, whoever you are, we get the picture. We haven't forgotten. We haven't forgotten. Oh, man. The monkeys must have broken into the shed. Oh, man. The monkeys must have messed up the coin thing. You're supposed to take the coin, guys. If you'd read the script, you'd know that. Sometimes those monkeys can be so lazy. It freaked out like that with me, too. Probably tired of eating bird seed. Have you got something? Nancy, you're here. This just showed up on the porch. You're still here? Go make the drop-off so we can get Bess back. Go! Nancy, go give that map to that Johnny Roll guy. Would you quit fooling around? Go make the drop-off. What are you waiting for? Follow the kidnapper's instructions. We are definitely not alone on this island. How's it going? And when I woke up this morning, Bess's bed hadn't been slept in and there was no sign of her. She never came back from going to watch the sunset. Here's the note the Gibsons left. I knew I should have gone with her, but I was just so tired. This is all my fault. Yes, but there's no sign of them either. He was the Spanish captain of a fleet of seven ships that sank near Dread Isle about 300 years ago. There's something about him in those books over there. And here, here's the note I found from the kidnappers. No, but then we really didn't have time to explore yesterday because we arrived so late. And I've been in here ever since I found that ransom note. I thought I'd better leave that to you. Besides, yep, just the note about watching the sunset. I've been trying to get this satellite phone to work so we can call for help. So far, no luck. I feel so useless. Bess took the only golf cart that worked. That one that's still here needs water or something. Anyway, that's so diabolical. Who would do something like that? Great. That narrows it down to what? Everyone who reads the newspaper? Nancy, you've solved mysteries in practically every corner of the world. Well, let's see. If we take the number of crooks you've busted in the course of solving a mystery, factor in their friends, relatives, and co-conspirators, and add to that all the people out there who don't much like anyone, we're down to what? Like a thousand people? You think the Gibsons are in on it? So, Bess is gone, our cell phones don't work, and we're trespassing. The hits just keep coming. I've seen a key. I'm not sure if it's the key. Here, anything else? Yeah, but it acts like it doesn't like me. Is that good or bad? Really? Maybe I'll try talking to it again. You mean you think it'd be nicer to me if I fed it? Does it tell you where the treasure is? You think so? Always a catch. Any sign of Bess? You found one of her shoes on the same beach as a paranoid beach bum? I don't like the sound of that. Does he know anything about Bess? I don't blame you. I don't know, Nance. Some fisherman just happens to be camping on the very beach where Bess disappears? That's way too much of a coincidence for me. He could just be saying that to divert attention from himself. Without even meeting this guy, I don't like him and I don't trust him. I think we... Okay, you should keep an eye on him. I read that they were taught to play games. You've actually played a game with them? They steal things, huh? Wonder what human taught them that. So you know where the treasure is? Sure haven't. What do you need it for? I'll keep my eyes open, but you may be out of luck. There aren't any in here, I can promise you that. Maybe you should try that beach bum. And if he's not, maybe you'll get lucky. The beach where Bess disappeared? Is he one of the kidnappers? Whoa, that sounds a little suspicious. Why would he bother to do that? Yet. Why do you say that? You think it was the kidnappers? Let's hope it was just the wind. I told you we weren't alone. So the fisherman thing is all an act? So we're right back where we started from. Darn this phone! I'm gonna get it to work if it's the last thing I do. Do you think they're important? And yet, you feel strangely compelled to collect them. Because despite their cumbersomeness, you feel strangely compelled to collect them. You know, Nance, if this detective stuff doesn't pan out, there may just be a career for you in trash collection. That guy totally ticked me off. He wouldn't tell me anything. He was being a complete jerk for no reason. Too strong? Me? No way! In fact, that City League team I play on, the River Heights Rovers, know what they call me? Cupcake.
So what's your point? Oh man, if anything happens to Bess, I will- I'll be good. Yes! I knew you could do it, I knew it! So what's the bad news? No, listen, I could sneak ahead of you and hide. George, I'm not going to risk Bess's life over some map. No, listen, I could sneak ahead of you and hide. I couldn't deal with that, Nancy, I just couldn't. But you can't expect me to just sit here. I have to go. I mean, what if something happens to you? What if I never see either of you again? Okay. Does he know anything about Bess? Keep me posted. You know where to find me. Good luck. See ya, Nance. I've been hearing footsteps. Like, people creeping around outside. They're always gone by the time I go to look, but after a while, I'll hear them again, and it's starting to get to me. It's people, Nancy. Several people. Maybe it's the kidnappers. Although, if you could somehow make the noises stop, I'd really appreciate it. You're right. I'm acting like an idiot. From now on, no matter what I hear outside, I'm just going to ignore it and focus. Really? Cool! Do the caves have something to do with finding the treasure? You're not getting discouraged, are you? No kidding. Okay, I learned my lesson. Next time, no matter how weird the things you're carrying around are, I won't say a word. Good. Hey, only one person around here is allowed to get discouraged, and that's me. On account of this blankety-blank satellite phone and the totally confusing way its teeny-tiny power circuits work. Only one person around here is allowed to get discouraged, and that's me. On account of this blankety-blank satellite phone and the totally confusing way its teeny-tiny power circuits work. But have no fear, I will fix this thing. You are to remain confident and upbeat no matter what. Understood? I've never been big on sailing. All those ropes and winches and halyard things. But you know who absolutely adores sailing? Bess. I mean, getting kidnapped is bad enough, but missing out on sailing in the Bahamas? Boy, is she gonna be ticked. Scuba diving? Are you nuts? With all the sharks around here? Are you sure? Okay, then look. If a shark gets too close, you just pretend it's one of the kidnappers and punch it right in the nose. Well, still... But why you? I mean, you don't even know them, do you? Frankly, at this point, I don't really care who kidnapped her. Getting her back in one piece, that's all that matters. Is by finding Bess. No problem. Everyone's a suspect. What'd you forget? That was fast. Something else? No. I don't know. Maybe. Sorry. Sure. I think so. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't think so. Not really. Try it and see if it works. I'm here, Nan. This is George. George here. I hear ya. George Fain. I'm here. What's wrong? Over. Don't worry. I'll get you out. I'm here. Over. Outside. Forgot to take this thing with me. Sorry. You okay? Over. Just tell me where this cave is. Over. Hang in there. I'm on my way. Over and out. Nothing going on here. Over. What's up? Over. Same here, but stay in touch. Talk to me. Over. Same old, same old. Over. What's going on? Over. When I do, you'll be the first to know. Over. Got something? Over. Not yet, but I'm getting there. Over. At your service. Over. George calling Nancy. Come in, Nancy. Over. Uh, no, not yet. Over. Uh... No, but I did find a note from the kidnappers. They're getting impatient. Over. Yup. Mission accomplished. Yeah, bad news. The date of the sinking is on the silver coin that was mounted on that placard. Only the monkeys broke into the shed and guess what they stole. Um... Over and out. I haven't looked at it yet. Over. I'll do it. Promise. Over and out. According to the coin on that placard, the Atosha sank on the 6th of September, 1622. One more thing. The kidnappers left us a note. They're getting impatient. Over. I have to play games with monkeys? George calling Nancy? Can you hear me? Over. Nancy, are you there? It's George. Over. George Fain calling Nancy Drew. Come in, Nan. Over. Detective Drew, this is George. You out there? Over. This is George. Can you hear me, Nancy? Over. Okie dokie. Over and out. Anything to report? Over. Then I'll talk to you later. Over and out. Not much. Over. Then I guess it's over and out. Everything's fine. Over. Not really, no. Over. You can do it, Nan. Over and out. You okay? Over. Hey, Nance. What's going on? Over. I can do that. Where are you? Over. No, why? Over. What was what? Over. Go take a look. I'm on it. Over and out. Not now. I'm busy. Hey! Hey! Hold on! Stop! No, don't go! Stop! No, come back! Come back! I was trying to stop him. We need help. Bess has been kidnapped. They obviously knew you were coming. My name's George Fane. I'm a friend of Nancy Drew and I'm looking for Nancy's other friend, Bess Marvin. The one who was kidnapped? I don't believe you. You're from Jamaica? You're from Australia? 
Or so you say. Finding Bess is a lot more important than fixing some stupid motor. But would you like to play a game? I would like to play a game with you. I hear you know how to play a game. I'd like to play a game, would you? Do you really know how to play a game? On second thought, I'm just gonna go. Never mind. I just wanted to say hi. Bye. I don't really have anything to say. Sorry. You look, uh, busy. Sorry for bothering you. When Kyler Mallory called me from her home in London and asked me to be her maid of honor, I was a little reluctant. After all, I hadn't seen her since she stayed with us as an exchange student a couple of years ago. But when she told me the wedding is going to take place at an old family castle in Ireland, <laughs> how could I say no? The wedding will be very small, but Kyler still needs help with all the final preparations, which means she'd like me to arrive several days early. So I'm going to fly to Dublin, rent a car, and meet Kyler at Castle Malloy. She warned me that the place is somewhat in need of repairs, whatever that means, and unfortunately by the time I get there it'll be night. But I've never been to Ireland before, and I've never even seen a real honest-to-goodness castle, let alone stayed in one. So the fact that it may be dark and run down just makes it more of an adventure. And you know me, whenever the question is who wants to go on an adventure, my answer is always, I do. In this game, you're going to find several items that will come in very handy. These items will appear as icons in the mat above the screen on the left. An icon that looks like a coin purse will also appear in the upper left of your screen. It's going to come in very handy, too. If you're playing as a junior detective, you'll be able to get hints from a fortune teller machine. However, you're going to have to pay for them. But don't worry. Earning the tokens you need to get hints is going to be all fun and games. Who are you? What are you doing here? Who? What are you doing here? You again? Buzz off. Back again, are you? Well, better you than your friend George. Now what? Sometimes I go beachcombing with my metal detector. I found this. I have no idea what it is. It's got to be rare, and the rarer something is, the more valuable it is. Pretty interesting, wouldn't you say? Maybe I'm rich and don't even know it. Is that it? Sure. If you program my GPS with the obstacles on this chart, I won't be able to get off this island until that's done. And because when I get to San Salvador Island, I just might tell the police there that you and your friend need rescuing. Yeah, because you're here and you want a glow stick. I'm beginning to like our little relationship, know that? Crikey, you do good work. Here's your glow stick. I'm, or at least I was, an accountant. Only I discovered a bit too much about one of my dodgier clients. I'm not Jamaican. I'm from Australia. My real name's John Poole. As a result, he sent some henchmen after me to make sure I never tell the authorities. So now, wherever I go in order to survive, I change my name and my appearance. Almost a year. I'll probably have to keep it up for at least two more. The guys who are after me, they're very smart and very determined. They'll stoop to anything, they'll stop at nothing. My only hope is to lie low, keep moving, and trust no one. Be nice if you could keep quiet about running into me. But if you can't, no worries. Soon as I fix this engine, old Johnny Poole will be history. I'm guessing those people have got something to do with your missing friend. But if you think I'm gonna help you find her, sorry, love. I got my own problems. Not a chance. If they were, me, you, they'd have done us all in first thing. My enemies are ruthless. Sorry, love. Don't know anything about her. It's the truth. Take it or leave it. Born and raised. Now if you'll kindly get out of my hair, I've got a motor to fix. Hey, any more from you and maybe I won't get your help when I dock at San Salvador Island after all. Now get lost. Got a giant-sized stubborn streak in her, that one does. Well, tell her to take her worrying someplace else. What is it? I don't want it. Get it out of here. Oh no, forget it. I don't want any part of this. I'm in enough trouble as it is. Oh, crikey. And now that I've done everything you've wanted, I want you to do something for me. Just watch. Good day. Don't hurry back. Huru. Fine by me. Weren't you just here? Forget something? That was quick. You are back. Do you have my compass? What is it now? What are you doing here? I see no reason to talk to you. You must tell your friend George to stay away. I was fishing last night, far down the beach. I see no kidnappers. I hear no kidnappers. I do not see this cart until just now. There is no one. I am by myself. You ask too many questions. My name is Johnny Roll. I am from Kingston, Jamaica. I have come here to fish and to be alone. When I'm tired of fishing and being alone on this island, I will go to another. 
That is my story. There is no more to say. That is my business. Why do you ask all these questions? I do not need your help. I come here because I do not like nosy people. And I am not alone on this island. There are monkeys. They like to steal things. They have ruined the motor of my boat. I cannot go anywhere until it is fixed. That is why I set the snare to catch them before they do more damage. What they cannot steal, they destroy. One day I find them in my boat, tearing up whatever they can. As I am chasing them away, one bites me. These monkeys are dangerous. There are other people on the island as well. I am repairing the motor of my boat. The monkeys on the island like to steal things. Why do you ask all these questions? But if this changes as you saw, I am ready for them. I only see them sometimes when I am fishing, always from a distance, moving through the trees. Three, maybe four men. They do not bother me, I do not bother them. I have none of these things. You go now. I can tell you nothing more, nor can I help you. Do as you like. Sometimes at low tide, I walk the beach with a metal detector, searching for that which the sea has left behind. One day I find this. I do not know what it is. I think it must be very rare. And rare things are very valuable. It is very interesting. Would you agree? Perhaps I am rich and do not even know it. No, my boat and my metal detector, they are my only true possessions. And unlike my boat, my metal detector is not broken. I give it to no one. You ask me a question, I give you my answer. Now you may leave. Here is what I will do. I will give you the metal detector. But first, you must give me the compass which the monkey with the notched ear stole from my boat. Do you agree? I cannot leave for San Salvador Island until this engine is repaired and I have that compass. We will talk again when you have retrieved it for me. I do, but if you want it, you must iron it. While fishing from my boat, I lost a beacon which I must have to navigate. I am pretty sure it became snagged on some rocks as I passed by and was pulled off. By the time I realized it was missing, the monkeys had damaged my boat and I could not go back out. And so you must retrieve it for me. Sail directly northwest from this beach until you see the two sharp rocks. If you sail between them, you are sure to find my beacon. Then the battery will soon be yours. Good. And here is your battery. Bring me my compass and the metal detector will also be yours. That is all? Very good. You may take my metal detector, but tomorrow you must return it to me. I think I can do this, yes. If you program my GPS with the obstacles on this chart, I will not be able to navigate away from this island until this is done. And because if you do this, when I get to San Salvador Island, I will send the police to help you and your friend. A very good reason, because you are here and you want a glow stick. I am beginning to like this relationship, Nancy Drew. You do fine work. Here is the glow stick. I do not know what you mean. I do not know where your friend is. That is the truth. This also is the truth. It is as I told Nancy. I do not know anything about her. It is the truth. I do not care if you believe it or not. I was born in Kingston. Please go. To have your friend Nancy always pestering me is bad enough. I have work to do. I do not wish to talk anymore. She is very rude, that one. Very hostile. Just see that she does not come back. What is that? 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 Take it away! I do not want this! Take it away! I do not want to be involved. All right, man. And now, if you are through making yard demands, I want you to do something for me. Simply watch. Good. Do not hurry back. Goodbye. This is good. Who are you? What are you doing here? Who? There is no best Marvin here. Sorry. 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 Bass! Oh my gosh, I wasn't sure I'd ever see you again. Are you okay? Sort of. Just try to calm down. Are you okay? George, just in time. Tell me about it. I thought I heard someone. Look, I'll be fine. You should go back and keep working on that phone. 
I am now, thanks. Did you see anyone out there? George must have gotten the satellite phone to work. Oh my gosh, you're that guy from New York, the one who threatened the life of Rick Arlen. You're the agent, David, no, Daniel, Darren, Darwin, Derek, Dewey, Dick, Drake, Dwayne Powers, right. I thought you went to prison. And those clues I found suggesting the Gibsons were the kidnappers, you planted them to throw me off track. You buried El Toro's book on the beach, then lured us here, kidnapped Bess, and left me those directions so I could dig it up, decode it, and find the treasure for you. No, I didn't. All right, so you were brilliant. Now where's Bess? Oh, no. No, wait, stop. Come on, Dwayne, let's talk. I want to hear more. You know about, about how smart you are for coming up with such an incredibly clever plan. No, fortunately, I'm not. Whoa! It just so happens I have a guava here, so how about a hint? Now that you have a new perch, I'll take your old one, thank you. It's okay. My name's Nancy Drew. You've made that painfully clear. I'll see what I can do. It just so happens I have a guava here. So how about a trick? The parrot I knew back in England used to give me hints. And by treat, you mean... Okay, okay, I get the picture. So, I give you some fruit, you give me a hint. Deal? Don't make me regret this. Just so we're clear, if I give you some fruit... You'll do a trick? What's your name? You're a pretty smart bird. Sure. What's the catch? Cuckoo. That's weird. You look just like this bird I met in England named Lulu. You must be pretty low maintenance for the Gibsons to leave you alone like this. Maybe I should call you Einstein, huh? If you're so smart, where's Bess? You like being here all by yourself? Cuckoo want a cracker? Cuckoo, huh? That's weird. You look just like this bird I met in England named Lulu. At least the Gibsons left you a bunch of food. You're kind of picky for a bird, aren't you? Sorry, I'm fresh out of fruit. Okay, you're going to have to do a trick. You're going to have to do another trick. I'm going to want a hint. I'm going to want another hint. Guess who's got a treat for Cuckoo? I've got a treat here, so how about a trick? So where can I go to get some more fruit? So where can I go to get you some fruit? That's a really interesting perch you've got there, Cuckoo. Yeah, well, the thing is, I kind of need it. Look, how about I trade you that perch for an even nicer one? <sighs> Why am I not surprised? I've got a treat here. Now, what kind of new perch would you like? You want a piece of driftwood for a perch? What's wrong with it? Here you go, a nice new driftwood perch. I'll see what I can do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you think? Now what's wrong with it? Okay, okay, take it easy. I have another perch for you. Why not? I found another potential perch. Hi, Cuckoo. Wow, what an elaborate perch. I'll talk to you later, okay? I'd better go look for Bess. Well, ciao for now. See you later, Cuckoo. I'd better go look for your new perch. Thanks, you've been a big help. You are a smart bird. Thanks. Thanks, Cuckoo. Great, I really appreciate your help. Something sinister has been set loose at Waverly Academy. Someone, known only as the Black Cat, is terrorizing students, sending them strange notes, which are always followed by frightening accidents. The only way to unravel the mystery is to go undercover as a transfer student and enter the world of cliques and gossip that rules life at this exclusive all-girls boarding school. Help me uncover Waverly's centuries-old secrets and avoid becoming the Black Cat's next victim by joining me in my next adventure, Warnings at Waverly Academy. Never mind, I'll talk to you later. I don't think I want a hint after all. Forget the hint, I changed my mind. It looks so small. How often do you fly charters out here? Pretty isolated, huh? <gasps> hmm, it doesn't work. There's George. Hi, slow down. I'm not going anywhere. George? George? What's wrong? What are you doing? Why? What's happened? <gasps> um, my name's Nancy Drew. I'm looking for someone. A friend, Bess Marvin. She disappeared last night. Look, 
do you think you could let me down? It'd be a whole lot easier to talk if the blood weren't rushing to my head. Ow! Nope. That's not good. It's not a good time. Not yet. No, I can't. Oops. Ow! Ouch! Perfect. <gasps> that looks perfect. That looks right. That should do it. That doesn't go there. Uh, no thank you. Uh-oh. Um, what's that? After all, you know what they say. Are you all right? You sound weird. Well, hopefully Bess is here somewhere. Well, there's the fisherman I told you about. It is not your fault, George. The Gibsons, they're the people who own the resort. Wonder who El Toro is. It sure looks that way. Have you seen anyone else on the island at all? Did you try to follow the directions on this note? The Gibsons left just that one note? You can do it, George. Just keep at it. In the meantime, I'm going to look around, maybe go out to this Sangre Beach place. Yeah, the sneaking suspicion that this whole thing, the contest best won, the trip here, the note from the Gibsons, I think it was all just a big ploy to capture one or both of you so someone could force me to find this treasure for them. Someone who knows I like to solve mysteries, maybe? Someone who doesn't much like me, maybe? Positive. Not really, no. <sighs> You're right. The only way we're going to find out who it is... <sighs> You're right. The only way we're going to find out who it is is by finding Bess. I sure do. No, I don't. My guess is they closed up for a couple of weeks so they could visit the mainland or something. They probably have no idea what's going on. Have you by any chance seen the key to the shed outside? Thanks. I think it's related to a parrot I met over in England. Did you feed it anything? Have you talked to the parrot over there? That parrot was actually very helpful. It'd give me hints. Of course, I'd have to feed it first, but this one does tricks. That parrot gave me hints, and so will this one, if I feed it a guava first. It'll do tricks if I feed it a guava, too. I'm not sure. With both of them, their favorite thing seems to be eating. But if you feed it a guava, this one will do tricks. Probably. It'll do tricks if you feed it, I know that. I think so. I have no idea. I followed the directions on the kidnapper's note and dug up El Toro's old journal. The problem is, the journal's in code. I decoded some of it, but not all of it. Never mind, I'll check back later. On second thought, I'll see you later. You've got work to do. I'll catch you later. I drove out to Sangre Beach. Well, I found her golf cart, empty, and I saw one of her shoes. And then I discovered that a fisherman named Johnny Roll is camping there. He's kind of a beach bum. He's also very paranoid. He says he doesn't, but I'm not sure I believe him. He says he doesn't, and I'm inclined to believe him. He says he's seen other people on the island, unfriendly people. Bess isn't at his campsite. Believe me, I looked. Did you know you can play games with the monkeys here on the island? And one, although it wasn't easy. They even gave me a prize, which turned out to be something they'd pilfered. Uh, not exactly, no. The journal doesn't give its precise location. After all, El Toro didn't want just anybody to find it. But I'm working on it. I managed to decode all of that journal I dug up. I need a 9-volt battery. Have you come across any? I need to find a particular bat in order to find El Toro's treasure. Only the handy-dandy bat detector I found needs a battery. That's not a bad idea. After all, if he is in on the kidnapping, he'll want to be helpful. There's a fisherman camping out on Sangre Beach. All I know for sure is that he's been following me and that he's been using a fake name and wearing a disguise. I don't know. There's more to our mysterious beach bum than meets the eye. It could have been. I hope it wasn't. When I climbed to the top of the bat caves, I saw something, or some one, moving through the bushes on the other side of the island. All I really saw were the bushes moving. It was either several people or something really big. Because if it was the kidnappers, there's a lot of them. Or if there's just one, he's really big. Turns out our Jamaican beach bum is really an Australian accountant, hiding out from a vengeful ex-client. Looks that way. I have no idea. I hope so. I keep finding dials all over the place. <laughs> Very funny, George. Maybe you came on a little too strong or something. He can be pretty exasperating, that's for sure. I hear you, uh, introduced yourself to our resident beach bum. George, the River Heights Rovers is a co-ed rugby team. Uh, never mind. But, uh, it would probably be a good idea if you, you know, stayed away from him. I mean, if he is somehow in on the kidnapping, we don't want to give him any reason to hurt Bess. George? 
Well, the good news is I found the treasure. It's a map. I'm going to have to deliver it to Johnny by myself. Look, I still don't know if this guy's in on the kidnapping or not, but even if he's not, we could blow everything if you contradict these instructions and drive out there with me. Look, I still don't know if this guy's in on the kidnapping or not, but regardless, given the animosity between you two, we could blow everything if you drive out there with me. George, I'm not going to risk Bess's life over some map. George, I'm going to go, and when I come back, Bess will be with me. I promise. At least that's what he wants people to believe. He told me he's really an accountant from Australia who found out a little too much about a client's illegal activities. He claims to be hiding from the guy's thugs. I'll see you later. I'd better get back to work. That's all I got for now. We both better keep working. Maybe it's just coconuts falling off the trees or something. Maybe it's just monkeys or birds moving around in the grass or something. Does it sound like several people or just one? Look, even if it is, and you still don't know that for a fact, you can't let it stop you from working on that phone. Calling for help may be the only way we're going to get off this island. According to the book El Toro left behind, they do. According to the book El Toro left behind, they do. And I certainly hope so. I certainly hope so. However, there's a place on the island where you can dive down to these underwater caves. Me? Heck no. Maybe a little. Those dials you tease me about collecting? I'll have you know they're going to come in handy after all. Understood. I figured out how to work the sailboat so I can get to all the places mentioned in El Toro's journal. In order to follow the clues in El Toro's journal, I've had to do some scuba diving. George, contrary to what the movies would have you believe, sharks rarely attack humans, especially when they live in a healthy ecosystem like this, where they have lots of real fish to eat. If I don't bother them, they're not going to bother me. No, but they sure seem to know a lot about me. Maybe I do. Maybe Gibson isn't their real name. I'm pretty much convinced the Gibsons are the ones who kidnap Bess in order to get me to find that treasure for them. George, it's Nancy. Are you there? Over. Nancy Drew calling George Fane. Come in, George. Over. George, you there? It's Nancy. Over. George, can you hear me? It's Nancy. Over. George, if you can hear me, pick up. Are you there? Over. Pick up, George, please. I'm trapped in a cave, <laughs> and there's not much air in here. Over. Where'd you go? Take the road that bisects the island and turn right when the road ends, <laughs> and then turn right again when you see the big limestone monolith. I'm in the cave with a big rock in front of it. Over. Keep me posted. Over and out. Just checking in. Over. You too. Over and out. Nothing much to report. Over. Ditto. Over and out. That's what I was going to ask you. Over. Sounds good. Over and out. No, do you? Over. You can do it. Over and out. Any luck with the phone? Over. Hey, George. Got something? Over. Did you check out the shed? Over. Did you see the date on that placard? Over. Did you look in the shed for that placard? Over. Did you find out the date? Over. George, this is really important, okay? Over and out. George, do it. Over and out. What about the placard? Over. Fantastic. So tell me. The coin? Oh, no. Well, you'll just have to go to the monkey center, play a game with them, and win it back. Did you win the coin back from the monkeys? George! The kidnappers aren't the only ones getting impatient, George. George, you are awesome! I'll let you know if I need anything else. Over. I'll let you know if I need anything else. Over and out. Bess is going to be fine, George. We'll get her back. Over and out. Just go to the monkey center and tell them you want to play a game. Trust me. Now go. Over and out. I'm here. Hey, George. I hear ya. This is Detective Drew. Read you loud and clear. Nada, over. What's going on there, over? Same here, over. What's happening, over? Ditto for me, over. Everything okay, over? Then it's back to work, over and out. Anything to report, over? Just trying to find that treasure, over. What's the word, over? This is Nancy. Come in, George, over. Listen, I need to find out the date that a Spanish ship called the Atosha sank. I'm pretty sure there's a placard in the shed that has the date on it. So I need for you to go to the shed, look at the placard, then call me back with a date, okay? Over. On a little island that's right across from the resort. Are you outside? Then I think you may have a prowler. Maybe you should... Whoa, what was that? Can you give me some advice when it comes to filling those batteries in the golf cart? I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do with the round thing I found in that underwater box.
Now what am I supposed to do with that astrolabe thing? How can I get rid of the octopus that's in the hole I need to get into? I could use some help when it comes to deciphering that book I dug up. How do I go about finding the cave where the type of bat El Toro mentioned in his book hangs out? I'm not sure how to program Johnny Poole's GPS. I am not sure how to program Johnny Roll's GPS. What's the deal with the hourglasses I found in that underwater cave? What can you tell me about that lock on that door over there, the one with the lights on it? How can I get those monkeys to move from the top of those rocks? I need to open that chest I found underwater, but I'm not sure what's up with all the colored tiles on its lid. What am I supposed to do after I put all the dials I found on the pegs at the end of that underwater maze? I've got those dials on the underwater pegs in the right order, but now what? How about a hint when it comes to opening the box that's in the octopus den? What do I do with those cutout things I found in the sand? What am I supposed to do with all those pulleys? I still can't figure out those pulleys. Can you please be a little more specific? I managed to win that pulley back, but now what do I do? Would you happen to know how to open the lock on the sail bin? That circuit board in the bat detector has me stumped. The people who kidnapped my friend, they want me to leave something with you. It's not for you, it's for the kidnappers. Look, it's no big deal. All they want is the map. You've got to do this, please. Sure, what do you want? The people who kidnapped my friend, they want me to leave something with you. It's not for you, it's for the kidnappers. Look, it's no big deal. All they want is the map. You've got to do this, please. Sure, what do you want? I'm still working on it. No, but I wanted to ask you something. No, but I retrieved your beacon for you. George was out here? George was out here? Didn't you look around after you saw her golf cart? Is there anyone else here with you? But that's her shoe and the golf cart she was driving. Are you sure you didn't see the people who kidnapped my friend? Have you noticed any footprints or car tracks? Anything out of the ordinary? What did you say your name was again? How come you're so intent on being alone? What are you doing, by the way? I just thought you might need help. I'm just nosy. There are? Where are they? Who are they? Tell me everything you know. What about a phone or a two-way radio? Do you have one? I'll go, but I'll be back. You can pretty much count on it. Sorry, I'll be going now. Never mind. My mistake. Ever find anything valuable? What's the most interesting thing you've ever found? So all you do here is fish? Actually, it looks vaguely familiar, but I can't quite place it. Would it be okay if I borrowed your metal detector? Please, Mr. Roll, it's very important. My friend's life may depend on it. I won't break it, I promise. Uh-uh, not without that metal detector. I'm afraid I'm just going to have to bug you until you give it to me. Sorry. You've got a deal. I'll be back with that compass in no time. I hope. Would you by any chance have a 9-volt battery that I could have? I can do that. Here you go. Thank you. I retrieved your beacon for you. There you go. Still works and everything. There's a big if coming, isn't there? Great. Do you think you could give me an underwater glow stick? Is there a reason why you don't program it? All right. I finished programming your GPS. You'll be able to drive your boat away from here with no problem. Thank you. Why have you been following me? How come I found an ID that indicates you're Australian? I want the truth. Who are you really? Awesome. Now tell me something I don't know. How long has this been going on? That's why you followed me? You thought I was one of them? The other people you've seen on the island, are they the ones who are after you? The girl who's missing is her cousin. She's just really worried about her, that's all. Some kind of treasure map. They intend to take it from you when they're sure the coast is clear. Actually, never mind. All I really want to know is, where is Bess? That's it for now. That's all I wanted to ask. No more questions. Guess I'll be going. Would you like to play a game? I would like to play a game with you. I hear you know how to play a game. I would like to play a game, would you? Do you really know how to play a game? How's it going? What's up? What's your name? How are you doing? Feel like talking? Never mind. On second thought, bye. Sorry for bothering you. I changed my mind. See ya. Sorry, I should get going. Still have to do that. Can't check that off yet. I haven't done that. Locked. Maybe the Gibsons kept the key at the front desk. One full tank of air coming up. Now I'll be all ready to make another dive. Might as well fill her up. Hey, I found some walkie-talkies. We should carry one with us at all times. 
That way we'll always be in touch. Here, a sailboat. At least it would be one if it had sails. I should go back to the shed and get the sails out of that bin. Then I can go sailing. Looks like one of those pesky monkeys has been up to something. A pulley's missing. Whichever monkey ran off with that pulley seems to have an extra toe. Looks like this thing needs a battery. Looks like a very old map of the western United States. Well, well. Looks like when it comes to Johnny Roll, things aren't quite what they seem. Those aren't my footprints. They're way too big. No problem. It just so happens I have the key. Good question. Judging from the captain's hat, this could be El Toro himself. Come on, Bess, let's get out of here. Sounds like these things won't work when they're too close to each other. Guess this thing doesn't work underground. George must still be too close for me to call her. George? No, she's not there. At least not right now. Nancy calling George. Are you there? George? Must not be back from wherever she went. George, this is Nancy. Are you there? George? Eh, still not back. George? Are you there? I need your help. George? George, can you hear me? George, are you there? No wind. Looks like I'm not going anywhere. Still no wind. Bet I know who'd like that guava. I've seen a metal rod that height. The one Cuckoo the Parrot is perched on. Guess I need to keep my eyes open for a metal rod that exact height. Yes, I can hear you. I'm in here. Can you move the rock that's blocking the entrance? It lowered into place when I pressed something, so there's got to be a way to make it go back up. Look around out there, okay? Figure it out, George. You can do it, okay? You can do it, George. Just keep at it. It's getting a little hard to breathe in here, so it probably wouldn't hurt to, you know, hurry. That's Bess's bracelet. She must have stopped here on the way to Sangre Beach. That's Bess's shoe. I'd better see if Cuckoo likes this perch before I go picking up any more. All right, whoever you are, I get the picture. I haven't forgotten. This closet has a pretty sophisticated lock on it. Wait, what's that? Looks like somebody's moving through those bushes way across the island. Oh my gosh, there's an octopus on there. There he goes. This is the cave. Wrong cave. The bat I'm looking for doesn't live here. I need to try another cave. I think I made a boo-boo. Hey guys, could you please move? I need for you guys to either scoot over or just plain scoot, okay? Yoo-hoo, monkeys, go away, scram, please. Come on, guys, what's it going to take for you to move? Hey, guys, got something for you. Here you go, knock yourselves out. Not enough rope. That's not going to reach. Nuts, ran out of rope. The rope's too short. Must be where they store the sails. Looks like this needs to be put together. <clears throat> Ouch! Darn! Ah! Ugh. Well, that was kind of dumb. George? Hello? Is someone out there? Hmm, guess not. That must be Half Moon Reef. Hello, Dove Isle. <laughs> One full tank of air coming up. Now I can make another dive. A nice supply of air does come in handy. Can't get very far underwater without air. That should do it. Darn, I lost. Rats, beaten by a monkey. I lose. You win. You beat me. Tied. Tie game. Tie. At least I didn't lose. Rats, I lost. I lose. That didn't end well. I lost to a monkey. Your move. Now I go. My turn. Can't go there. Can't do that. Let's see. Didn't win that game. Lost that game. You're the winner. And we have a draw. We tied. Nobody wins, nobody loses. Darn. This isn't going to work. I can't see a thing. I'm not diving in there again, not without some kind of underwater light. And I know just where to get one. I still don't have a light source. It's too dark down there to dive without a light. Still need a light. Dive without a light? I don't think so. There's a map in here. That's weird. I've solved the case in every spot that's marked on this map. Kind of looks that way. These are all places I've been to. Looks like we've found El Toro's secret stash. 
This guava just reminded me of something. I'm hungry. That's what those monkeys were asking for. A ball. I better change into something more appropriate before I dive in. I can't go diving dressed like this. I'm not dressed right for that. Diving in street clothes? <laughs> not a good idea. Hi, Cuckoo. Wow, what an elaborate perch. A Tosha. A Tosha. I'll bet that's the galleon El Toro mentioned. The one that sank. Nuts. This kind of glow stick only works underwater. I can't dig up that chest with my bare hands. I need something to dig with. Digging around aimlessly will take forever. What I need is a metal detector. Bess? 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 I'm working on it, okay? Let's see if that did the trick. Let's see if it'll start. Hopefully this thing will start now. The question is, will it start? If it starts, that means I fixed it. I'd better take this air tank with me. There's something over there. Maybe I can use that beam of light to find out what. Ugh, too heavy. It's too heavy. I can't use that now. That might come in handy later, but now? Don't think so. Do I really need this now? Nah, not the right time or place for that. I can take that out later. Some kind of animal ran off with one of those pulleys. Looks like whatever it was has an extra toe. I'd better refill my tank before I make another dive. Yikes, I need to get more air. My tank's almost empty. I don't have enough air to make another dive. I'd better go fill up my tank. Oh my gosh, these headlines are about cases that I help solve. Oh, what's going on here? These sections are still encoded, and in a very weird way. Maybe I should keep my eyes peeled for something that will help me break the code. This scuba gear might come in handy. Good thing I'm up to date on my diving certification. Whoa, sharks. I should probably keep my distance. Oops, don't want to go bugging those sharks. I'd better not get any closer to those sharks. That looks right, but I still need a battery. There, that should do it. What the heck? Okay, okay, I've heard enough. There, all decoded. I'm not going to be able to dig anything up without a shovel. I can't use this to sight anything if it's on the ground. I can't use this to sight anything if it's on the ground. I need to put it on a rod like the one in the picture in that book I decoded. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. Ah. <laughs> Very good. Leave it to best to enter an online sweepstakes and wind up winning a five-day vacation in the Bahamas. Naturally, she invited her cousin George and me to go with her, and naturally we said yes. As luck would have it, Dad and I have to go to a father-daughter banquet on the day the vacation begins, which means I'm going to have to arrive a day late. But the ecotourism resort where we're staying sounds very cool, and the island is so remote you can only get there by float plane. White sand beaches, turquoise waters, and tropical sunshine, here we come. Take one, take two, take three, take five, take eight, take nineteen. Speed, speed, action, action, action. There it is, Dread Isle. It'd take you a while to get anywhere down there on foot, I can tell you that. Unless you're super athletic. Your two friends, the ones I flew out here yesterday, they were my first passengers in weeks. Granted, a lot of these places shut down during the summer on account of hurricanes, but even when it's not storm season, I guarantee you, that island down there is pretty much a ghost town. If you're playing as a junior detective, you'll be able to get hints from a certain feathered friend. However, you're going to have to pay for them. But don't worry, earning what you need to get hints is going to be all fun and games. <coughs> <coughs> <laughs> Stub, as always, your mission is to solve the mystery by stepping into my shoes and deciding my every move. To get from one place to another in the game, just move your cursor around on the screen and click when an arrow pointing in the direction you want to go appears. An arrow pointing forward allows you to go forward, while a back arrow allows you to step back. Sometimes up and down arrows are available, too. Give it a try. Find the forward arrow and check out Mr. Wooglewoggle. He's my teddy bear. 
When you want to turn around, move your cursor to the bottom of the screen until it turns into an arrow that looks like a U-turn or back arrow, and click. I always use my magnifying glass to scan my surroundings for clues. When it turns red, I know I'm on to something. When your magnifying glass turns into a question mark, you can talk to someone. When it becomes a hand, you can use it to open and close things, pick up objects, and move things around. To see how this works, move your mouse over this scene until the magnifying glass turns red. Then click to zoom in. See how the magnifying glass turned into a hand when you rolled it over the key? That means you can pick it up. When you click on an object with the hand cursor, that object gets added to your inventory. To see what's in your inventory, just click on the inventory icon at the bottom of the screen. To use an item that's in your inventory, just click on it. In fact, try clicking on the key. See how the cursor turned into the item you clicked on? Use the key to click on the lock on my suitcase, and you'll see how good I've gotten at packing. To return an object to your inventory, just click on the inventory icon, then click on the open inventory box, and the object will go back into storage. You can close your inventory by clicking on the square in the upper right-hand corner, by clicking on the inventory icon, or by clicking on another icon. I keep reminders to myself in my journal. Click on the notebook icon at the bottom left of the screen and you'll see what I mean. I try to keep my notes tidy by putting them into categories. Just click on a category and you'll see all the entries on that topic I've made up to that point in the game. Click on the clipboard icon and if you're a junior detective, you'll see a list of what I need to do. Organized person that I am, once I've done something, I check it off. The floppy disk icon allows you to name your current game, then save it or to simply save your current game without renaming it. And while we're on the subject, it's a good idea to save your game from time to time while you're playing, just in case. Click on the folder icon and you'll be able to load a previously saved game. Just scroll through the thumbnails, select the game you want, then click on Load. Or if you click on New, you can start a new game. You can also adjust the volume of the music, voices, and sound effects, as well as turn off the closed captioning text and change the color of the background mat. The gear icon allows you to determine how you experience the game. For instance, you can choose to play the game in a window on your computer screen if you want. If you have to stop playing and leave the game, just click on the exit icon. Of course, save it first. Questioning suspects is something all detectives need to know how to do. In the game, to get people to talk to you, all you have to do is click on them. Let's say I've clicked on Mr. Wogglewoggle here. Our conversation will appear in the text box with his words in yellow and my responses in blue. Click on a response and see what your suspect says next. Excuse me, giant human person, but you seem to be pretty nosy, especially for someone who hardly even has a nose. I mean, compared to mine. Excuse me, Mr. Wogglewoggle, but I'm not nosy. I'm just very curious. You think so? Usually people only call me nosy when they're hiding something. And you seem to be pretty gabby, especially for someone who doesn't even have a mouth. If there are a lot of words in the text box, use the scroll bar to move the text up and down so you can read along. Before you can start playing, you need to decide whether to play as a junior or senior detective. If you choose junior detective, you'll get more hints than you will if you're a senior detective, and the puzzles will be a little easier. When you're ready to start playing, just click on the plane tickets and hang on to your hat. Hi, I'm Nancy Drew. This is my center of operations, my desk. Go ahead and poke around. If you want to know the particulars of how I do what I do, take a look at the book titled How to Be a Detective. It's real helpful, especially if you're new to the mystery solving business. And be sure to check out my scrapbook. I put memorabilia from all my past cases in there. A lot of them were pretty dangerous and at times really scary. But don't say anything about that to my dad, okay? He worries about me enough as it is. And whatever you do, Read what's in the file called Case File. That'll tell you all about the mystery I'm about to try to solve. If you think you're ready to dive into that mystery, just click on the plane ticket and you'll be on your way. Check. Did that. All done.